So, a couple of other points that are worth making is when you're trying to route this cable, you need to bring it through this cable bundle. There's a big, uh, I don't know if you call it a gasket or a grommet that's kind of in the front. This is actually designed to be split. It's a split grommet and there's channels for additional cables in there. So you just have to kind of punch them out of the, the rubber and you'll have room to bring your cable into your main cable bundle that's coming out of the engine. Uh, in terms of getting to this piece of metal here that uh, kind of clamps this all together, uh, what you want to do is this rubber uh, gasketing material goes to uh, a piece just by the release for the cowling and so you can take that off and then there's two bolts that you have to get to. Uh, I think they're both eight millimeter. There's one that's here and there's another one that's back here and the one thing that I will mention is uh, because of the um, salt proof material that they use in terms of I don't know whether it's an alloy or it's aluminum or whatever this these bolts can strip relatively easily so don't start to try and over tighten get yourself a torque wrench um, I'll look up the uh, um, specifications for torque here but it's not much and it's very little and all that does is it just compresses that uh, down and kind of keeps everything in place the other thing you're going to want to get is some cable ties uh, do a neat job as we've talked about before neatness counts and whatever cable you bring out of this engine compartment for the NMEA or for the house battery uh, make sure that you run it similarly to what uh, is uh, for the rest of the cable bundle because you need that slack when the engine turns or this kind of stuff same with doing fish finder electronics or things like that keep it with the same cable and uh, make sure that you know you're not doing anything to get the cable worn or nicked or whatever the case might be um, a couple of big cable ties, one big one at the front here and then smaller ones along the bundle. And some uh, engines have um, kind of a uh, conduit, a flexible conduit that you need to run that into. Um, so that's about it. Um, I'm going to take you back and uh, show you some of the other options uh, that you've got uh, once you get NMEA hooked up and uh, once you get this battery connection done.